So the uh, Repower EU consists of up to 300 billion uh, euros. As you know, um, this is 20 billion uh, fresh money, and it is um, the rest is loans that have not been taken up by Next Generation EU. Now, I have to come with a proposal, first of all, before I can predict what the reaction of leaders is, and the proposal will come in January, and then we will see the reaction, the overall reception um, and the overall analysis of the problem we are facing was very clear and very unanimous. What is our problem? We, have, we are world leader in clean tech, and we need to keep this leadership. We are competitive. Don't get me wrong. We are competitive because today the European clean tech sectors have to compete with the rest of the world on a level where they have two to three times higher energy prices in the past. They had two to three points times en higher energy prices in the past than, for example, the United States. This has now increased through the rising energy prices, so the pressure um, through the energy prices on, for example, the clean tech sector, but also uh, other cu uh, cutting edge uh, industries. Uh, this pressure has increased. And on top comes the massive subsidies of the United States for investment in the United States. And what is important now is that we do not run into a situation where this cutting edge industry is making its next investment decision in the United States and not in the European Union because of, as I said, the subsidies in the United States plus here the high uh, energy price environment. And what we have to do is to be able to targetly and time-limited support these specific sectors, and I would add to the clean tech sector, quantum computing, AI, biotechnology, um, and other topics that are of utmost importance for the modernization of our economy. We have to make sure that they are able to have the transition from a fossil fuel-based energy prices today towards renewables in a few years that are homegrown, that are much more affordable, and of course that are secure. So this transition we have to accompany and we have to bridge. And that's where the specific investments are for. A um, sovereignty fund could, for example, enable for the first time funding on a European level of our um, important projects of common European interest. Hydrogen is a classical one. Uh, the IPCIs. And these are the steps we have to do now to really keep this, as I said, world-leading industry here in this critical time. Thank you, Madam President.